guys, I am pre-recording our directions for our class today just because my son is home with a runny nose and you know, I'm anticipating a lot of interruptions. So, I want to make sure that you guys, you know, get some good directions, make sure that you still have a good day and a lot of learning today. So, to know what we're doing today, make sure you are following along. And the nice thing about having this as a video is you can pause at any time to be able to go back and see what to do. So our daily agenda today, we started that gizmo measuring motion yesterday. Today we want to complete activity A. So I'm going to go through the steps on how to do that. See, when that comes up, if you just refresh, it typically works. So to open up our lab, Gizmo Measuring Motion should be under the upcoming assignments. If not, you would find it in the classwork folder. If you already started yours and you did OneDrive, you'll click on my document here to open it up. If you, download, you didn't download it yesterday, you'll click here to download it. If you downloaded it and saved it, just make sure you open it. Yesterday we completed this red section, the prior knowledge and the warm up. So today our goal is to work on activity A in this lab. You can see there's one, two, three, four questions to get done in this lab. Monday um, our goal will be to get activity B done, but we're not necessarily in a rush for that. So now we need to get the gizmo up and ready. Going to get rid of that. That's for a different class. To go to Gizmo, and hopefully you guys remember this, we start by going to Clever. So I need to work. We go to the district site. My Clever is hidden there. Once in Clever, you want to go down to Instructional Resources and click Gizmos Dash Rostering as the white G with the blue background. Your class will automatically come up and you should see the pattern finder that we had done before. I'm actually going to get that out of there because we don't need it anymore. So you should just have this one, measuring motion. You can either click launch here or if you click on it, It'll open and you click Launch Gizmo. So this is what we had looked at yesterday. I'm going to do that little trick where I do both things on my screen. Because when you're doing a lab and then also having to have a document open, that's a really helpful trick to be able to see both at the same time. All right, so we're going to, we, we're on the Safari Adventure. I'm reading the directions. We don't have any arrows on the screen. It recommends um, having a calculator. If you um, have a calculator on your computer, use it. If you need it, you would need it down here. Or you can use a phone calculator. Or if that's something that's kind of like, I don't have it, none of it works, then don't worry about it. We can figure that out easy. So we're going to go over how to do this first part. All of the directions are in here. This is a really well written set of directions. So if you're not sure what to do, make sure you're just kind of reading through and doing what it says. We're going to do number one together, record an animal running. Then switch to the playback and watch your recording. What animal did you record? So here's our record button. As soon as an animal comes through here, we're going to try to hit record. Once it gets to the end, we'll try to hit stop. I'm going to wait for something. Oh, that was fast. All right, I tried to get that cheetah. It was super fast. Let's see what I got. I'm going to go to playback and hit play. All right, let me, I got it. Yep, there it is. That was the cheetah I was trying to get. So what animal did I record? I recorded a cheetah. says click rewind, which is what I had done here. 
So this is our rewind. This is our advanced frame. There we go. So click rewind to advance the recording to the one second mark. So this is our Maybe I'll try a slower animal. Because my entire thing was only one second. I, I'm going to redo it with a slower animal. That cheetah was too fast. There, I'm doing this um, lion right here. So it's good to know. Don't pick the cheetah for this. I think he's too fast for us to be able to click to get good data. There we go. This one will be good. So I changed mine to a lion. That's the one I did here. So we're trying to figure out how far the animal moves in one second. So I'm going to follow these directions again. There's my guy going. Okay. There we go. I was just playing with the buttons. So we want to advance the recording to one second. There we go. So you can see when I clicked this button right here, it took me to one second. Mark the animal's position with an arrow. So I'm going to click on the tools, arrows, click, drag it. I'm just going to put an arrow here because this is where his butt is. So his butt is at this tree. We want to mark the animal's position with an arrow and repeat. Estimate the distance the animal traveled in one second. The trees are five meters apart. So I'm going to click on this to move forward a second. Oh, I can't see him. Let's do another arrow so I can figure out, try to estimate where his bum is. I think he's like right here, right? You can kind of see his feet. I'm going to do it again. You see it again. You know, he's not moving as fast as I thought he was. And let's do another second. Okay. That's not bad. Sorry, you have to click and drag the arrows. I keep doing the wrong thing. They're trying to get where his butt is. Alright, so we're going to have to estimate. If from this tree to this tree is five meters, this first point is less than half. So I would probably estimate that at two meters. So in one second, my guy went two meters. And that is just an estimate. I'm going to get rid of the arrows and do that again. Just kind of talk through how we did that. I'm going to move all my little arrows over here so they're out of the way. So I'm going to go through directions two again. So I did my safari adventure and I recorded an animal crossing. I did stop and then when he crossed all the way, or I did record and when he crossed all the way, I did stop. Then I click on playback. I can see my lion walking. I go all the way to the beginning by clicking the rewind button. This button right here, it's a arrow pointing to the right with a line. That, when you click on it, pops you forward a second. So we're trying to figure out roughly what distance is he going every second. Let me go back to the beginning. I'm just going to do one of my little arrows, which I did by going to tools, and I clicked and dragged an arrow. Just trying to mark it somehow where he starts. I'm going to hop him forward another second. Let's do another arrow. You know what? I think this is a much better one. I don't think I agree with my first measurement. I'm glad we redid this. So a, sec a second went by, and it's, you know, a pretty small distance. We know from this tree to this tree, it's five meters. 
So this looks like, I don't know, one fifth of that. So I'm, I'm actually thinking that every second my line is going one meter. And again, this is an estimate. So it is okay if you're kind of looking at it glancing and just guessing a distance. The distance an animal travels each second is its speed. So if in one second my lion traveled two meters, he would be going two meters per second. If he traveled one meter, he would go one meter per second. And then question four. You can get more accurate estimates of distance and time using these steps. So today's all about estimating. At no point should you be like, well, I flat out measured it and it's 1.5. We're just estimating. We're going to use the time slider, so that's this right here, to position an animal so that its nose is even with this first tree. So you know how we are kind of estimating that distance? We now want to be able to flat out say, well, how much time did it take them to go from here to here? So I'm going to click on this. I want my lion's nose lined up with a tree. Does that look good? Maybe a little more. Yeah, there we go. So I moved it so that his nose is lined up with this tree. That time right now, I see down here, the current time is three seconds. So I would put 3.0 seconds here. Now I'm going to move it so that his nose is lined up with the next tree. And that is, looking at my time right here, time two, 6.4 seconds. The time difference, this is time two minus time one. And 6.4 minus three, 3.4. That is our time difference. 3.4 seconds is our time difference. And from this tree to this tree, it was 5 meters. Okay, hold on. I'll get you something to eat. So this is our goal for today. I will be here for you to ask questions. I just might have a crying, fussing two-year-old with me, so I wanted to make sure you guys had a chance to get these directions. If something doesn't work, if something's not acting right, let me know. Don't stress out. We'll figure this out together, guys. All right, thank you.